Step one to having an awesome spinning hook game. First, you want to wind up just like this. Second, as you're winding this way, you want to pivot boom at the same time when your hand reaches around here. So one. So that's what you want to do first. The next one is turn your head as fast as you can over and look at the target as fast as possible and doing the same motion, bam, just like that. So what I like to do is practice this step as many times as possible so that you guys can get comfortable with this training. So just go one, bam, and down. Two, bam, and down. And if you notice, when I do this motion, I actually tuck my hands in. So I go large, medium, small, and tight to my body so I can get that velocity of spin. The next step is actually the most important step ever. And many of you are probably thinking you gotta bend your knee up like a sidekick. Oh yeah, you can do that, but this is actually more important than that part. This is called the open and close method. If you guys master the open and close method, not only you'll master spinning hook kick, but you can also master 540 and other awesome kicks in Taekwondo. So let me teach you guys open and close method. It's very simple. So once you master this part, what you want to do is open one, just like this. So both chest tries to point forward, not necessarily you have to point it forward, but you just imagine that. And then from here, when you kick that spinning hook kick, you want to actually do the close method with your shoulders, just like how I just showed you like that. It seems easy, but it's actually challenging to put it into practice. So a great tip is this. You want to finish in a T shape. So when you finish your spinning hook kick, you're gonna finish your body in a T-shape just like how I did, so it balances your body. One very important reason that you wanna finish in a T-shape, if you do a jump spin hook kick, if your body actually finishes in a T-shape before you land, kinda of like this, then you'll have a 99% success rate of landing all your kicks, maybe 100% if you master the open and close method. So don't over twist your close method. So when you do your one and then open method, and when you do the close, don't twist like this. You don't wanna do that. It's almost as if you're open and then go back this way, both shoulders point forward, and you just bow and then tuck your elbow towards your face like this, almost like a ninja style. Like that. So you'll be able to balance spinning hook kick. So the next step is once you do that open and close method, then you want to actually drive your knee up like a sidekick chamber, just like this. And you want to go A, B, and C and make a little curve when you do that kick. Now, most people, when they kick, they go downwards like this or they go upwards, which is okay. But if you want to have a good spinning hook kick, you want to cover all these areas, A, B, and C, just like that, so that you cover everything. Now keep in mind, this is a demonstration and trickers spinning hook kick. So the more bigger it looks and the more beautiful it looks, the better. Sparring spinning hook kick, that's a different story. We'll maybe get into that next time. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to keep updated with all my content. And thanks for subscribing. So my last tip for you guys I have is a bonus tip. This tip will really make your spinning hook kick like two times better. So as you're kicking spinning hook kick, you want to imagine your big toe is actually making a very strong defined curve and that will be pointing your big toe forward as strong as you can and that will actually help you have a longer reach for your spinning hook kick. So I'll show you one spinning hook kick with my heel. And this is more like power breaking, breaking more than four or five boards at once. And this is a pretty strong spinning hook kick with the heel. And if you do it with the trickers way with the toe pointing forward, it just looks so much better. I always like the saying, if you focus on the smaller details, there will be greater return in results. So same with Taekwondo kicks. If you focus on the smaller details, you'll have an excellent result. So I hope that this video helped you guys out for your journey to your spinning hook kick. And if it did, kick that like button and make sure you subscribe and turn on all those notification bells so that you guys can get updated with all my content. And if you guys want to take your training to the next level, I have all my course down in the link below. So please check that out if that's your thing. Until we see each other next week, make sure you guys check out this video or this one for your preference and have a wonderful day and stay safe. Bam.